Scoob came out in 2020 because 2020 is the worst year I ever have in my life. So by the part is about Scooby and Shaggy when they first met when they were little kids. They first met each other and they met Velma, Daffy, and Fred. They solved their first mystery in the Haunted Mansion. And basically, the, the guides came in and turns out their their friendship not saved the day. And then the evil robots came for the bowling alley. And then they got and they got rescued by a blue falcon. And the blue falcon and Scooby and Shaggy met with Blue Falcon, and they're on this, and they're on an epic mission to find the three legendary stones of the skulls, and for, and had to avoid dastardly the villain, who's a great villain, and they're on a mission that Space Paul is. Now, guys, when I saw the trailer this movie, I was so hyped for this movie. It's, this is the first Scooby Doo animated movie I had in my life, and I saw the final trailer back in, back in last year. I was hyped. I was so hyped for this movie. This movie is awesome. Anyway, this movie is a great film for the whole family. Anyway, the story, the story is amazing. I really enjoyed the story. The animation, I enjoy the animation. I love the animation and the jokes. The jokes are pretty hilarious. I love the jokes. And let's talk about the characters. Scooby and Shaggy are my favorite characters of the movie. Scooby and Shaggy, they're hilarious. And Blue Falcon, he's pretty hilarious. And and the dog, he, the green dog is pretty hilarious. And I love the cute robots, you know, the bowling alley robots. They're pretty cute. And Daffy and Velma and Fred, they're great characters. And Dee Dee, she's a great character. I enjoy her. And, and Captain Caveman, he's a great character. I enjoy Captain Caveman. And now... Let's get into the best villain, the best character of this movie. That is Dastard Lee. That's right. Dastard Lee, he is an awesome villain. Dastard Lee, he is an awesome villain. He looks, he is way better than El Macho for Despicable, for Despicable Me 2. And he's way better than Motosaur for Orphan the Invisibles. And he's way better than from Kumba. Because Kumba is the worst movie I ever made. Wow. Just Lee's an awesome villain. And I love the part. He says, Drat. That scene was hilarious. I laughed my butt off. So over, guys. This movie is the best year movie of 2020. Because 2020 is the worst year ever I left. Sorry, guys. Recording got cut off. Back I was saying. Overall, I enjoy this movie. It's a fun movie for the whole family. It's a fun whole family for this movie. And it definitely gets a 10 out of 10. It's an amazing brilliant masterpiece. So, I can't wait to get this movie on DVD. I can't wait to get this movie on DVD very soon. I can't wait to get this, DVD, get this movie for Christmas on DVD. I can't, I'm so hyped. Thanks guys for watching. Goodbye!